the government efficiency portion of Measure B. Uh, I can see a portion of those funds being used to undergird the Vallejo Commission. Um, but certainly I would hope that uh, the boards are not meeting uh, because they don't have the money yet. Again, even those that are meeting infrequently, um, we, we certainly want to make sure that the commissions are funded, but it's important that they meet together to evaluate what the respective needs are of that commission so it can move forward. Um, also, the question asks uh, what percentage of Metro B funds should be allocated to public safety? Uh, all 30% or what percentage do you think is fair? Uh, public safety is certainly one of, if not the major concern for the citizens of Vallejo that I continue to talk to. And I think 30% uh, <coughs> is a fair number. Um, the Measure B funds were initially uh, were, for, were initially for public safety. However, uh, I do want to say I am elated that the community uh, participatory budgeting is in the process or in the place where it is to see so many different persons engaged in our community. So, thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, one of the campaign themes in my agenda is to ensure that Measure B fulfills its promise to voters, and one of the issues that's been a recurring issue is public safety. So I want to make sure that that is, uh, that Measure B, some of Measure B's money be allotted for public safety, you know, which will include hiring more, more police officers at the authorized level. So the city council had authorized to hire what, 20 police officers. But then again, we need to hire more because we're at a very low uh, ratio in terms of uh, police and number of citizens in this community. Um, commissions that I'd like to make sure is, uh, you know, re revive is, of course, the Human Relations Commission. I forget to mention that I mentioned that that is revived. Um, we have a very active Baleo Sister City uh, Commission, and actually how they fund their commission is they have an association, a nonprofit 501c3 that uh, funds their activities. Uh, the other commission that I would like to push for, in fact, like that is the Youth Commission. If we are going to involve and engage youth in this community, we need to make sure that they have a voice uh, in this community. They're not voters, but their voice is very important. We all say we care about youth, but you know, the Youth Commission has been inactive for the couple of, last couple of years. So that's something that I would like to make sure uh, is uh, revived and reinstated. And I know that there were a couple of youth that were involved in the PB process. That means they're engaged, they want to help, and they want to um, help our community. So let's give them that voice. And we can do that through the Youth Commission. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I want to say that I uh, supported uh, PB1, I was a member of the steering committee, and PB2 is in the books, it's going to happen. Um, and I think it's a good thing. Uh, we, we, however, as far as, I think in the question of six or in favor of funding multiple years, I think that would be difficult to do because our budget process is year to year. And like this year, we're changing councils, so sometimes it's from council to council, so it'd be difficult to project funding for PB long term. Um, uh, as far as funding commissions, uh, I don't know that we have a line item in our budget to fund commissions. Uh, we do incur staff costs. For example, the planning commission, we, we notice it, we write agendas, we publish it, we write minutes, we organize the meetings and so forth. And so we do incur uh, costs for a commission like the planning commission, but we don't necessarily budget for it. Uh, what percent of measure B uh, funds should be for uh, public safety? Just briefly, I don't. I don't want to put a percent of public safety. Public safety is at the very top of my list in 2011 when I ran. It's at the very top of my list today. No percentages. We do. We will do at least what is needed to ensure that people are safe. Uh, thank you. Um, so I'm going to answer both questions kind of simultaneously. Um, the challenge with the commission's not meeting is that there is limited staff available to prepare the agendas and, you know, operate the, the commission meetings. So, um, on support of restoring all of our reduced city services at some point, um, with a priority on public safety, street repair, and cleanup, and a concerted focus on economic development. 
Keeping in mind that Measure B funds will sunset and we need to grow our revenues to supplement and eventually replace Measure B funds. We need to focus on implementing our economic development strategic plan, aggressively marketing our assets, and focus on building and growing our core industries. By doing this, we will create jobs, grow, sustainable, grow a sustainable tax base generator, and be able to hire more police officers, reopen our fire stations, repair our streets, and improve our quality of life. Thank you. Well, thank you.